1094 AD, Turkish armies begin attacking Europeans in Anatolia, defiling holy places along the way. Spurred on by the Pope and with promises of plunder and adventure, European armies swarm to Constantinople. Upon arrival in Constantinople, discipline breaks down and the starving crusaders begin ransacking the surrounding countryside for food. Emperor Alexis quickly arranges sea transportation and a military escort to keep the crusaders moving. Take control of the city of Nicaea with help from the Greek allies. The Turks will be unprepared for the attack, so the battle should prove simple. The journey to Jerusalem will need financing if the crusade is to succeed, so raise gold by whatever means necessary. You have something in mind? The crusaders march across Anatolia is difficult. The Turks burn all crops on their retreat southwards, and the Westerners have found themselves ill-equipped to deal with the freezing temperatures. After some minor skirmishes with the enemy, the army is left starving and exhausted. Rebuild the wheat farms around the city of Heraklia to provision the army. Local reports suggest Turkish raiders have been operating nearby. Antioch was a strong and difficult city to attack. Fortunately, the Crusaders had a spy on the inside. He arranged for one section of the wall to be unguarded, allowing the Crusaders to stream in through St. George's Gate and take the city. A huge Turkish army is on its way, so quickly garrison the city walls and man its towers. All food and trade routes are cut off. Make the most of limited supplies. It will take a lot of faith to hold Antioch. As the march continues southward, the petty emirs along the way yield to the crusaders, agreeing to pay the tributes they demand. Resistance is met at the city of Akka, which refuses to surrender. The main part of the army is laying siege to Arka, but the men are becoming disheartened. Start construction of a new castle, Crac de Chevalier, and begin ale production to increase troop morale. There are large bands of raiders nearby that may prove to be a threat. Unable to break down Arka's defenses, the Crusaders march onwards to Jerusalem. The initial assaults prove fruitless due to the lack of siege engines. The nearest forest is over 20 miles away, so the final attack is delayed for weeks. Now the siege towers are ready, lead the main assault against the north wall. Word has come in of a massive Egyptian army marching to relieve Jerusalem, so the main fortress must be captured as quickly as possible. The city is secured before the Egyptian reinforcements have a chance to interfere. With Jerusalem taken, this crusade becomes the first and only crusade to succeed in the goal it set out to achieve. The holy city remains in European hands for 88 years.